Now, even though 2013 is pretty much over, we can't deny that it's been a very polarizing year. It's been great for some companies and it's been terrible for others. Some of them are even deceased. And that doesn't really mean that we've gotten the products that we want for this year. So I'm Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and these are our top five wishes for the smartphone industry in 2014. Number five is a little bit of the old, and the reason why I say this is because the music industry does this all the time. There were great songs of the 70s that we hear now in a sort of a revamped way. And why can't we get that with the smartphone industry? Just because the iPhone was successful with a big slab display doesn't necessarily mean that the whole slide out security industry had to die. I mean, a lot of companies, HTC for example, had a lot of success with slide out securities. These are pretty much dead and HTC is not succeeding any better than they were when they had these slide out securities. So it would be great to see more phone factories, more options, front-facing security, slide-out security, whatever you can think of, tilting displays. It doesn't really matter, but we would really want for companies to go back to the whole experimentation process that we had before, especially now that products are more miniaturized. So we could think of a slide-out security phone that doesn't have to be as thick as they were years ago. Number four is less gimmicks, more functionality, and that's a very big deal right now. Samsung devices are plagued with a ton of features that I never use, and the reason why I don't use them is because it's not that they're bad, it's just that they don't really work well. So what is really the point of having all these TV ads trying to sell you a phone that's got great air gestures and stuff like that if these are things that you're not really going to use or that are going to drain your battery life because they're not really as good as you were expecting them to? We want companies to focus more on doing at least a couple of things right. And we do have to praise companies like Apple for doing it right. Uh, they don't do everything, but what they do, they do well. So hopefully companies focus more on doing things right. HTC did a great job with the HTC One with build quality and with their whole boom sound, we want more focus on things that actually do work well, and that's what we expect for the industry as well. Number three, we need more winners in the industry. We cannot have a successful industry with just two companies. Innovation stalls. We need more companies doing great things. And so, you know, there was a time where we had BlackBerry, Palm, HP, and these companies pretty much left the industry and are now striving to try. We probably need some more blood, some new blood, different companies trying different things. I have a lot of expectations for Nokia in 2014, for example. They brought a lot of innovation to the table. They probably chose not the best platform to do so, but they have so much innovation on the table that we want them to push the needle, and we are expecting that for 2014 as well. Number two is more aggressive pricing. We really have to praise Google on this one for their whole Nexus lineup and for the whole Motorola scheme that they're using right now. $200 for a very good smartphone in the case of the Moto G is just amazing. $230 for an amazing tablet like the Nexus 7 is just great. And let's not talk about the Nexus 5 as well. We need more aggressive pricing. We need smartphones to be more affordable. If you want them to be ubiquitous, you need to make them available to everybody and not just half-baked smartphones. I'm sure you have a million activations a day for Android devices, but half of these really suck. And we really need for things to change. We need better smartphones and better price points. That's really one of our biggest wishes. Hopefully the Moto G pushes that needle in having companies do this, because we really want this to happen. And the top number one wish we have for 2014 is better battery life. And I know this is funny, we complain about this all the time, but it's true. Companies are focusing on so many things that aren't really that important to us right now. For example, flexible displays. These are great, fine, that's great. Bring it to the industry. But what's the point of having these flexible displays if you won't be able to enjoy them because your battery sucks? It's pointless for you to climb up a ladder faster up the wrong wall. Why don't you set it on the right wall, the one we really want? Consumers want better batteries battery life. What's the point of having these amazing app stores if you can't enjoy them because your phone is going to die? That's really one of the biggest reasons why we feel companies are lost right now. Why not focus on making better batteries? The industry needs it and it needs it really bad. But anyways, that leads me to the question of this top five. What would be your wish for 2014 in smartphones? What would you want companies to push forward for? Again, in my case, battery life is pretty much the biggest one, but leave us a comment down below. What do you want? That's it for today's top five. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you on the next top five.